Somerset, and he's going to put me through the paces on how to do deli stuff. So, how, how to get the deli ready. <laughs> how to get the deli ready. Okay, so what do I got to do first? Do I get an apron? Yes, I said, get an apron. We give you gloves. What do I need gloves for? Well, you got to touch meat. You got to touch meat. You got to touch bread. You got to touch bread. You got to touch paper sandwiches. So what? <laughs> okay. And well, by the law, you got to wear. And what about uh, what about a haircut? Do I need a haircut? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not not. You don't have to. No, you should not blow. You know, in there. Just kind of. It, it has a powder in there. It just. It does. Yeah. yeah. Because if you blow in there, it's not gonna. It won't be able to get it. I feel like I'm ready for surgery. It is surgery. You're cutting the stuff. You know, First thing you gotta do, you gotta open the new, um, First thing I gotta do is get the glove on. Yeah. And also, the meat has to be cut and cheeses. So after you're done with that, it'll be 12 o'clock and everybody's here lining up. And then you would, you know, it'll be lunchtime after lunchtime. Is the ham kosher? Is the ham kosher? Is the ham kosher? Is the ham kosher? Yes. No, it's not. <laughs> what time do you open up in the morning? Six o'clock. How about seven thirty? Seven thirty a little better? No. Six people here. Seven forty-five. No. Nine a.m. No. It's got to be six o'clock. Where do you want to start? I don't know. Let's make a sandwich. Okay. Hold on, I'm making a sandwich. So come. Bread. So what you do is you get the bread. Cut the bread first. Right. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Cut the bread first of all. You have to put your hand on top. You never fold the bread like this or like that. You hold it on top and cut the bread all the way. Right? Okay. It's done. Every place they make different ways sandwiches. Some people they put paper. I like to put paper. I like double wrap the sandwich. So even if something happens, you're always, you know, it's always safe. So um, every Italian sandwich, most of the time, provolone, salami, ham, capicola. Is the ham kosher? Is the ham kosher? Is the ham kosher? Okay. The kosher ham is not kosher. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here yeah, we got our stuff cut. Okay. Some stuff left. Yeah, I cut them earlier. Um, so you put. So what you do is you start putting uh, provolone cheese, three slices of provolone cheese in the bottom. Come on in. All right, well, I'm wearing gloves here. I'm not used to cooking with gloves on. Chop chop. You gonna make sandwich like that? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> people will be like, hey, come on. Okay. <laughs> it's gonna take you two hours. Okay, then you put a slice of salami, four slices of salami. It's kosher. Four slices. Four slices of salami crust, like that. Very good. These gloves are really annoying. What are you going to use? So. Okay, now one. But now put capicola. Put your slice of capicola. This is the non-kosher capicola. Yeah, non-kosher capicola. That's why you make gloves. <laughs> All right, nice. Now, ham. So what you do is wrap the spices. What about the spices? Well, this is, we have different kind of, uh, this is actually the broom. Well, we have different kinds. We're just making a traditional um, Italian. You can put pepperoni. Just put pepperoni. So that's three slices of pepperoni. Okay. Yes, that's uh, one and a bit. Very good. These gloves are really annoying. I don't. Okay, very good. All right, now, you put lettuce, tomato, and onions. Lettuce, tomato, and onions. Is there any specific order you got to put it in? Well, you know, as, as you say, lettuce, tomato, onion. I like to put lettuce on top because when you put oil and vinegar on the lettuce, it will hold it. It will not splash so over. So you put the tomato on so the onion then the lettuce? I would, I would put tomato first, and then I put onions, and then I put lettuce. How much tomato? No, so you got to cover the bread. So, you know, just like that. You have to have the 
the right uh, tomato to bread ratio? Yeah, four to one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you put some onions. Hey guys, Mark Klein here and I want to welcome you to today's class. Let's go over what we're going to do. First, we're going to start out with our high five, low five drill. Next, we're going to go into our point location. And in today's class, we're going to be going over triple warmer five and large intestine 20.
points are what weapons that we can use to attack these points most effectively. And then we're going to go into something that we call our force multipliers. If I press on that, I get that effect. That's just pressing. But now if I press and, and vibrate the hand a little bit, I get a more dramatic effect. That's what makes the techniques and the points, the combination of, more effective. After that, we're going to teach you the drill. He goes to push. I'm going to parry it. Aim for that large intestine 20 point. As I'm stepping, I want to step to the outside. So when his hand comes in, I'm stepping in this manner to get to the side of his body. And after that, we'll just tie everything together, recap what we did, and we're done. Okay? So go through each piece step by step. If you ever have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Thanks. Have a good class.